Before we get started, I wanted to thank today's sponsor, Redstone Studios. Whether you're looking to just record some tracks or push your creative boundaries, Redstone Studios has you covered. They're friendly, professional, and they produced my second album, Postcards from the Sun, from start to finish. Now, on with the show. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're talking about that life-changing music when you decide to start a band. Whether evolving from your current solo career or dipping your toes into the deep waters of playing with other people, starting a band can be daunting, challenging, exasperating, and hopefully, ultimately, fulfilling. So, come on, let's annoy our neighbors. If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share. And uh, yeah, let's go. First things first, there's some key questions you need to have answers for. Do you have a space to rehearse? If not, that's going to be kind of critical to your band's success. Make sure you nail that down with someone in the band before moving on to step number two. which is to figure out who's doing what. What instrument are you playing? Do you have the necessary gear to amplify so everyone can be heard? If not, pawn shops and online want ads are a great place to get some basic gear until your money situation allows for better equipment. Once the space to play and the gear you're playing is squared away, it's probably a good idea to have a direction you're going. What type of music can you all agree on? Most bands start out as a group of people playing cover songs they all like. Original music may eventually come along, but find some common ground first. Now that music is actually being made, the hard part comes. The only way to move it past the starting phase is to practice, practice, practice. When your song list becomes second nature, then you're on the way to step number five, which is... Start writing down any music ideas that pop in your head. Don't be afraid to throw out ideas to the group, because some of the best songs come from collaboration. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. This will be the first of a series of videos covering the what now question that follows certain phases of a musician's career, such as starting a band or getting that first gig. I hope you'll check them all out as I post them. In the meantime, if you'd like to see more videos like this, click here. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you'll be notified when new videos post. Don't forget to be amazing, and we'll see you next time in Room 6.